I just finished recording a video because, and I did it in a hurry, and I'm gonna this, do this one in a hurry too, because I thought I had students coming over. And anytime soon, in my boss might come in, so I'm gonna have to cut off. But I wanted to do this really quickly, and it's about dealing with failure and the expectations of failure. So, yeah, let's get into it really quickly. I don't know how much time do I have to speak about this and it's a really complicated issue because I think it's kind of important, you know, for our lives. It kind of marks everything about us. But you see, this, the thing is, people with the years develop expectations about us, both positive and negative. And uh, when it comes to failure, the thing is, how you deal with failure is not how you deal with failure alone, but how you deal with the expectations of others. Like, for example, my family thinks I'm a failure. What am I going to do? Am I going to say, yes, I am. I am a gigantic failure and I just lay on those laurels and I just become a failure? Do I become vindictive and I'm like, no, I'm going to prove you wrong and I'm going to do and the American accent came out because you Americans are more like that attitude. That was an accident, okay? <laughs> but there is the classical movie if everyone thought he was a failure, he just came on top and he became the best of the best, yo, 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 of the first. You know, it's just like this vindictive behavior behind it. And the reality is that no matter which side of the spectrum or there is I don't know, an in-between of that. Failure and your reputation, if anything, comes with an expectation of you, either to do great or to do terrible. Now, what you do with your life is going to be up to you. And once again, patience and grit. Yes, I know. I'm hating myself for that. I. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the thing is, the unfortunate part of it all is that one thing or a collection of things won't define you as an individual, okay? People might think that, oh yes, you're just like this and that because you did this and you did that. But the reality is that circumstances in your life and actions and even mistakes you have made won't define you as an individual. What defines you as an individual is what you do with the expectations of people. Do you care about them? Or you just pay no attention to just move on with your life and you just try to do your best within the circumstances? Whether it's for the best or the worst. Because with failure, the expectation is either you can stay in that position forever or you're going to grow out of it, so to speak. I hope it's clear enough. But the sunlight, usually I don't record at this hour because I usually am with students. And the sunlight is just like... <laughs> I'm blinded, <laughs> right now. So, if there is a reflection on a car and I'm just like... Hello, good morning. <laughs> so the thing is, with failure, are you going to become the expectation of everyone else around you that you are indeed a failure and you're going to settle with it? There is a line across my face. Yes, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. It's the lightning. Lightning. Lighting. Lighting. Coming from outside. Light coming from outside. I'm sorry. It's what chaos. But the thing is, are you going to settle in that reputation of you are a failure, you are beyond hope and you're going to settle within it and make it your comfort zone or you're going to make your comfort zone coming out of it, coming out on top of it and uh, run out of your circumstances. I'm sorry, I'm going to try to change the light, lighting, this light situation a little bit to compensate that. This is quite a bit irony for the video in hand. Well, I can't change the circumstances at hand, so let's get adapted with them. You know, the best we can. 
So what happens then is that people tend to have the expectation that either they just label you as a failure or they label you as a winner. What you do with it, and there is a study I actually heard about some mania maniac, I hope that never happened. I hope it's not one of those internet creepy pastas everyone is repeating and it's not true that one man named one of his kids failure and the other one winner and the winner became homeless man and the failure became a successful man i really hope that was not an actual experiment but given the human condition now people is proving me to be people i wouldn't be too awfully surprised if it was the truth <laughs> and uh that is true, families do tend to label us and society as either a failure or a success. The question is, will you find the strength within you to just say no and just move on? I'm going to do what I can within the circumstances I've been given and the little knowledge I have. And within my mistakes, try to find a way to do my best. And move on. Now, whether that would mean that you become successful or not may have to do with patience and great and a humongous amount of luck. Let's not lie to ourselves. There is a great element of luck that has to do with it. And uh, <laughs> just remember a clip I saw from Family Guy. And apparently, the mother is blind, and the girl, Megan, is helping her, and the mother is like, I feel useless, and left out, and this, and this, how do you deal with it? And I was like, she was like, oh yeah, I do this and that, a little bit of arson, and uh, I post every now and then some motivational videos on YouTube, and like, bitch, that was, ah, oh, on the heart. <laughs> That's the thing, when you are going through a lot, what do you do with it? I would not recommend arson. Just no. 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 For real, no. But I will wholeheartedly recommend you to do your best to move forward and uh, to be the best version of yourself. Now, if you excuse me, I think my boss just arrived, so until next time, I wish you the best and I hope you're doing well. And uh, I hope this time you have used in here as safety you will. Best of luck with all of your projects and I think you're going to see this in January so yeah you're going to need this motivational pep talk. So yeah. Until next time I hope you're doing great and let me tell you how is the year 2023. Until next time bye bye. Oh yes it is my boss. It is indeed my boss. <laughs>